Let's get started with our um, WordPress integration by heading to our editor. And uh, once you get everything downloaded and set up, you'll see that I left comments in here that lets you know when the footer begins and when the end of the uh, main home content is and where it starts. Also, I did the same thing for the header, and I did this for a very specific reason. Uh, much like any other PHP website, it's very useful to use uh, includes and luckily for us WordPress has that uh, functionality built in. Um, of course default PHP does as well but uh, this comes with a little bit more options. Uh, first thing we're going to do is open up a new file and we're going to save this one as header.php and this is a WordPress standard you have to name it header.php and I'm going to go back to my index.php and I'm going to take everything from the end of header to the doc type and I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to paste it and everything looks good. I'm just going to add a uh, comment block up here. Oops, I forgot to add my PHP thing. There we go. And uh, the default header file is what I'll put in here and just save that and then back in my index.php I need to use a WordPress function and I'm gonna open up uh, some PHP and I'm gonna type in git underscore header don't worry about a name but git underscore header and I'll end that with a semicolon and if I save it and I go back to my browser and uh, close these out for now. Uh, hit refresh. And as you can see, uh, the index file included the uh, header file. I need to do the same thing for the footer, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to open up a new file. And I'm going to save this one as footer.php. And I'm going to go back to my index. And just where uh, this is where the footer file will begin, I'm just going to cut all of that out and uh, go back to my footer.php and paste it. And I'll save that. Then back in my index.php, I need to do a similar function that I did for a uh, get header. And you can probably guess what it is, but it's get footer. I'll save that. Switch back to my browser and refresh just to make sure it's still working. We don't want nothing breaking on us. And as you can see, it's all, it's all set up now.